الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد continuing with our evening program which alhamdulillah we started at the beginning of Ramadan and inshallah ta'ala we will continue until the end of Ramadan which is 30 themes from 30 verses and today our journey with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it takes us to Surah Muhammad and today we will discuss the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in tansuru Allah yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum O you who believe if you aid if you help the cause of Allah Allah Azza wa Jal will help and aid you and make your feet firm so this is the verse in Surah to Muhammad, verse number 7. Today's discussion, because I know many of the brothers and sisters ask for the specific reference, is Surah to Muhammad, verse number 7. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu in tansuru Allah yansurukum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum O you who believe if you aid, if you help the cause of Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will aid you. Allah will give you victory. And He will make your feet firm. And every believer, male and female, they want the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He tells us in another verse in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, إِنْ يَنْصُرْكُمُ اللَّهُ فَلَا غَالِبَ لَكُمْ وَإِنْ يَخْذُلْكُمْ فَمَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَنْصُرُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights for us brothers and sisters our need of the aid of Allah, the help of Allah in every situation and in every circumstance He said if Allah aids you then no one will be able to overcome you in yansurkum Allah fala ghalib lakum if Allah aids you no one will be able to overcome you no one will be able to defeat you no one will be able to outthink you no one will be able to trick you highlighting for us our need of this because alone we are weak and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said in the same verse وَإِنْ يَخْذُلْكُمْ and if Allah forsakes you forsakes you because of lack of iman or because of disobedience then who can help you besides him who's going to aid you who's going to support you who do you expect is going to be able to remove from you that difficulty or calamity and this verse here we find in Adwal Bayan a nice concise explanation for this verse in Surah Muhammad and Allah Azza wa said Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu O you who believe Look, subhanAllah, the believers are being addressed here Because some people they think that As long as they say they are Muslim They are entitled To help and assistance from Allah Azza wa Just because they say I'm Muslim However, we don't find that in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah says, Oh, you who believe. So they possess Iman already. Naam. Highlighting again, 
the importance of correct belief. In terms of Allah, if you aid Allah's cause, and we have to all question ourselves, what have we done to aid the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because some of us feel entitled. We are entitled to this or to that. But what have we done? And on a communal level, because we will talk also about an individual level, in order for communities to prosper, none. they have to adhere to this. There must be a level of sacrifice. And if we want to see this verse embodied in action and speech, then look at the biographies of the companions, Ridwanullahi alayhim, along with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look how they aided the cause of Allah. Look what they gave. Look what they did. Look what they sacrificed. And look what they were willing to sacrifice. In Allah yansurkum. If you aid the cause of Allah, Allah will aid you. He will give you victory and He will make your feet firm. Now, to establish a community is going to take effort and sacrifice. Many people, they're looking for the easy way. I don't want to do anything, but I'm waiting for a government grant, or we should get involved to try and elect this official, or we should take this shortcut or that shortcut, and everything's going to be in order. That's not what we find in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. In the al Bayan, we find Dakar Allah Jalla wa Ala fi adil ayah al Karima, and al Mu'minin in Nasaru Rabbahum. نصرهم على أعدائهم وثبت أقدامهم. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions in this verse that the believers, if they aid the cause of their Lord, Allah Azza wa Jalla will aid them. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will aid them and aid them over their enemies, and He will make their feet firm. They will find additional courage and strength. In situations like that, an individual may turn around and think, where did I get that strength? I was on my last legs. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthened them, him or her. Or Allah azza wa jal cemented that courage in their heart. Because of some of the people of the past, they said, courage is being patient for an hour. That's the difference between a coward and a courageous individual. And we find in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the hadith is authentic وَأَنَّ النَّصْرَ مَعَ الصَّبَرِ Victory comes with patience. Naam, victory comes with patience. And aid in the cause of Allah, brothers and sisters, the scholars of Islam, some of them when discussing this, they talk about in addition to Striving in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. They also talk about jihad al-qalb wa nafs Striving against the heart and the soul. Because in order to strive against outward forces, the devil and the dunya and other than that, we have to fight and battle against our heart and our soul. And this is the month, the month of Ramadan is the month of al-mujahada, struggle. Well, alhamdulillah, the believers, naam, they fight against thirst and hunger in the obedience of Allah Azza wa Jal, and they abandon their lusts and their desires even in a lawful manner for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. Naam, and this is just a glimpse. This is what is required of us all year round, not just in Ramadan. Ramadan, naam, it's an opportunity to get things in order, to increase in obedience, to train our souls, to repent, seek forgiveness, go the extra mile. But now this is a glimpse of what is required all year round. وَقَدْ أَوْضَحَ هَذَا الْمَعْنَ فِي آيَاتٍ كَثِيرًا وَبَيَّنَ فِي بَعْضِهَا سِفَاتِ الَّذِينَ وَعَدَهُمْ بِهَذَا النَّصَرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an 
clarifies this meaning in many verses. And in some of the verses, he mentions the descriptions of those who he promised this victory. He mentioned the descriptions of those he promised this victory. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, "Kaqawlihi Taala, wa la yansuran Allahu man yansuru. Inna Allah la qawiyun aziz. Surely Allah will give victory to those who support His cause." ثم بينا صفات الموعودين بهذا النصر في قوله. And then Allah Azza wa Jal, He clarified the description of those who have been promised with this victory and success in his saying after that verse in Surah Al-Hajj الَّذِينَ إِمَّكَّنَّاهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَوُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَمَرُوا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنَهُوا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَلِلَّهِ عَاقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ Look brothers and sisters, if we want the help of Allah, if we want victory from Allah, you're not going to get it by taking a shortcut. Victory, brothers and sisters, is attained through what? Ikhlas, sincerity to Allah, wal mutaba'ah, following the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the key to victory and success. Don't fool yourself. If you embark upon an innovated or forbidden path, regardless of what fruits it yields, it's only going to end in disaster and chaos. Even if it seems that it's productive in the moment. Allah Azzawajal said, those who Allah promised victory, listen how he described them. Those who if we establish them in the earth, aqamu salah they establish the prayer. Naam, iman, correct belief. Also, iqamatu salah establishing the prayer. The way Allah commanded for the prayer to be established, not the way we want to pray. That is why, naam, again, in order for our communities to flourish, the men need to be establishing the prayers in the masjid. Obviously, some people, they work. We're talking about when they are able to go to the masjid. Not that we attend the masjid yomul jumaati faqat, only on Jum'ah. This is not Islam. This is not Islam. That is other religions. The Muslims are in the masajid on a daily basis, multiple times during the day if they are able. Multiple times. These are the individuals that Allah promised victory and success. It's sad even in Ramadan, Ikhwan, some people, they treat Ramadan as an event. Like on Saturday, we're having an event. So everyone come to the masjid only on Saturday or Sunday. No, Ramadan is 29 or 30 days. We do not need events. The believers do not need these type of events. The believers, they believe in the promise of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, and these are the descriptions of those who have been promised success and victory. الذين إن مكناهم في الأرض أقاموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وأمروا بالمعروف ونهوا عن المنكر. Those who establish the prayer and they give their zakah and they enjoin the good and forbid the evil. Look at that. Likewise, they enjoin the good and they forbid the evil. They do not look at things and say, you know what? I'm not going to say that this is a bid'ah. Because it's just about being together. We just want to be together. I'm not going to tell them that saying Allah Azzawajal is everywhere goes against the Quran and the Sunnah and is bid'ah, munkara. 
So I'm not going to correct a clear error as it relates to the awrah that needs to be covered in the prayer because the individual is wearing tight pants and his awrah is exposed in the salah. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to upset anyone. Because at the end of the day, we just want to have as many people as we can. No success is coming like that. But we're not going to talk about the young children who are imitating the non-Muslims with these dreadlocks and these hairstyles. And they're amazed by this drug culture to the extent that they're walking around with masks and hoodies and there's no need to have a mask and a hoodie. Why are you walking around with a mask and a hoodie? And it's sad that some of the children of the Tayyibin are even doing this. And those parents, they need to get hold of their children and correct that because do you want your child to be mistakenly taken for someone running the streets? We're not involved in that. Why am I hiding my face? And why are you hiding your face? And that is why when we come into the masjid, unless you're wearing a mask because of an illness or the like, take off the mask. This is not the streets. Alhamdulillah, the mas masjid is a safe place. We don't have anything to fear from our brothers. minna. We do not fear from one another. Alhamdulillah, the masjid is a safe place. So Allah Azza wa said, those who enjoy the good and they forbid the evil. Yes, with knowledge and with gentleness and kindness and with wisdom. Now, if they want to give advice and you're in a public setting, pull the brother or the sister to the side. Now, if you feel that they may be offended, give them a book about the topic. Sister doesn't know how to cover, take her to the da'wah center and buy her some books and slip that in there and then say that this is a good book as well. Naam. And listen to what was stated next. وَقَوْلُهُ تَعَالَ فِي بَيَانِ صِفَاتِ مَنْ وَعَدَهُمْ بِالنَّصْرِ فِي الْآيَاتِ الْمَذْكُورَةِ When Allah Azza wa Jal explained the attributes of those whom he promised victory and success in the aforementioned verses when Allah said الَّذِينَ إِمَّا كَنَّاهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَوُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَمْرُوا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنَّهُوا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرُ Those, if we establish them in the earth, they establish the prayer, they give zakah, and they enjoy the good and they forbid the evil, the verse, يدل على أن الذين لا يقيمون الصلاة ولا يؤتون الزكاة ولا يأمرون بالمعروف ولا ينهون عن المنكر ليس لهم واحد من الله بالنصر البتة. He said this proves that those who do not establish the prayer. Listen, brothers and sisters, those who do not establish the prayer, those who do not give zakah, those who do not enjoy the good, those who do not forbid the evil. They will not be supported by Allah. They will not receive victory from Allah ever. They will not receive victory from Allah ever. That is why Nam, some communities, Ikhwan, you go the masjid is empty for the salawat. Empty. And if they have an event, وَالْعِيَادُ billah to gather the people, they have to have jazz bands in the masjid. That's humiliation. And we see that even in Philadelphia. وَالْعِيَادُ billah. Or they have to have a fashion show. Or other than that, that's ihan. These verses prove for us that those who do not establish the prayer the way Allah commanded, those who do not give zakah, those who do not enjoy the good, those who do not forbid the evil, these individuals who fail to fulfill the commands of Allah in these areas, Allah will not help them, He will not support them. And look around the Muslim world, brothers and sisters, you have the answer why. Allah promises victory and success. Look, Allah said, وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ 
Surely Allah, definitely Allah will give victory to those who support his cause. A clear promise. But al jazam in jinsi al-amal, we reap what we sow. So if we find any type of takhalluf, a lack of progress, we have to look at ourselves, our hearts, our actions. Not blame everyone else. It's his fault, it's her fault, it's that one's fault. La! We look at ourselves. And then they give an example. They give a beautiful example, brothers and sisters. They said the like of these people, meaning those who do not pray, those who do not give zakah, those who do not enjoy the good. كَمَثَلِ الْأَجِيرِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَعْمَلْ لِمُسْتَأْجِرِهِ شَيْئًا ثُمَّ جَاءَهُ يَطْلُبْ مِنْهُ الْأُجْرَةِ it is like a worker who comes, he didn't, do, do no, he didn't do any work for the person that employed him. And then they come and they seek their wages. A person, a worker, has a job, didn't do anything, regardless of what the job is. Say for example, a factory. The job is to stack the shelves. He didn't stack one shelf. But then at the end of the day, he comes and he says, I want my wages. You look at that person and say, what a joke, right? Are you kidding me? You expect your wages? You expect to get paid and you haven't done anything? So brothers and sisters, how can we expect from Allah victory? We've, put, we've not put anything forth. Continues. فَالَّذِينَ يَرْتَكِبُونَ جَمِيلَ مَعَاصِي مِمَّنْ يَتَسَمَّوْنَ بِإِسْمِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Those who commit all types of disobedience, all types of sins. And in our time, people even glorify on social media. They don't just commit them publicly in the street. Some people even film themselves. يُصَوِّرُونَ أَنفُسُهُمْ فِي مَعْسِيَةِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ They film themselves disobeying Allah and they're proud of it. وَالْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ So that's even worse than this. Than the one who just commits it. The one who commits it and spreads it and is proud of it and wants followers and likes and attention behind it. فَالَّذِينَ يَرْتَكِبُونَ جَمِيعَ الْمَعَاصِي Those who commit all types of sins and disobedience. مِمَّنْ يَتَسَمَّوْنَ بِاسْمِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Those who call themselves Muslims. ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ And then they say, إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيَنْصُرُنَا Indeed Allah is going to give us victory. مَغْرُورُونَ these people are deceived, they're deluded. They're deluded. They're expecting something that is not going to happen. Magrurun. You haven't fulfilled what Allah has stipulated. In Tansurullah Yansurkum. If you aid Allah's cause, Allah will give you victory. Because these individuals who disobey Allah Azza wa Jal with all types of sins and disobedience, they are not from the party of Allah that has been promised victory as is not hidden. What does it mean, brothers and sisters, to support the cause of Allah? What does it mean? Somebody may ask, what does it mean for me to support the cause of Allah? And again, Ikhwan Naam, this is advice to myself and everyone else, especially those who ascribe to the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, those who ascribe to the way of the Salaf. Naam, it's not just about wearing a t-shirt, the way of the Salaf. What worth is that? What Salaf is that? Allah has just said in the ayah, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu in tansurullaha yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum O you who believe, aid the cause of Allah and Allah Azza will give you victory. Allah will help you. He will aid you and make your feet firm. They said the meaning of aiding the cause of Allah, nasruhum li deenihi that you aid the religion of Allah in any way, shape or form. Whether you're at the front or whether you're at the back. Alhamdulillah, we have brothers in the community and sisters that aid. Walillah, alhamdulillah, minna. 
You have brothers, they come in the middle of the night. No one knows. Maybe many of you don't know who they are. They clean the masjid. They vacuum the masjid. And they, you don't even know their names. Brothers, alhamdulillah, with the sister's house, they done things they didn't expect to be paid. They didn't want anything. And many people working behind the scenes. Likewise, the teachers, the educators. And other than that, working diligently, aiding the deen of Allah, teaching it, spreading it, implementing it, being a, uh, being a role model through one's actions. Nasrum li deenihi. The believers, they aided his religion, wali kitabi and his book. Alladheena aataynaahum al kitab yatlunahu haqqa tilawatihi ulaika yu'minuna bih. Alladheena aataynaahum al kitab yatlunahu haqqa tilawatihi ulaika yu'minuna bih. Those we gave those people that we gave the book, they recited with the correct recitation. They are those who truly believe in it. They learn the Quran. They try and understand it and they understand it correctly and they implement it in their lives. Likewise, supporting the cause of Allah is that they exert effort and strive in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. They obey His commands, they stay away from His prohibitions. And they judge between the servants with that which Allah revealed upon His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَيَحْكُمُوا فِي عِبَادِي بِمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَىٰ رَسُولِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ نَعْمْ إِنْ تَنْصُرُ اللَّهَ يَنْصُرْكُمْ Again, as an, an individual, again, as an individual, we see the ingredients to receive the help of Allah Azza wa Jal. As a community, likewise, we see the necessary components for Allah Azza wa Jal to give us victory. We ask Allah for success.